how to subscribe to topics uh, in MQTT land. We should see, yep, there we go, YouTube. Subscribe to Hello Sus World. Boo bar publish. Yes. England. The hash, which is a wild card. Which... Hello, and welcome to this video. Uh, today, I'll be showing you how to subscribe to topics um, from a MQTT broker, a Mosquito in this case. Um, these past two videos, I've shown you how to send messages. Maybe they might appear here. Um, and today we'll be learning how to receive them, how to subscribe. It's not going to cost you anything. It's not like a software subscription or anything. This is just how you um, receive messages and process messages uh, in MQTT land. So let's get going. Okay, so here's our MQTT broker running. It's a mosquito. I've also got this application called MQTT Explorer. And what this does is let you see the messages that are being sent, uh, send messages. Um, so we're going to go and connect to our to the broker on localhost. And you'll see, yep, there we go, it's connected. Uh, we can, oh, yeah, it sends messages to check that it's still connecting just to tap, tap the top place and see if it's still there. But if we just send, look, we can send a message saying the topic saying hello, smash world. Uh, this is a JSON, so we can say boom. Uh, Publish that. See that there. Hello world. Porting bytes. This doesn't show you what's sent, but you can see we've sent the message. So this is MQTT Explorer, and we'll use that later. Okay, so that's going to be running by itself in the background. So now to the code. So again, we're going to have the uh, MQTT client that we used, made in previous video and used in previous videos. I'm going to import that. Uh, and so let's start. So we've got the we want to instantiate the class. We can, ugh, can't spell client equals um, and what we're going to do just it's a bit horrible, but we're just going to get the client out of the of, of that class. So the client here that just returns the client because this doesn't have this only is about connecting and publishing, and there's nothing about subscribing. So that, so that, um, we have the client, uh, and it's pretty easy, really. We'll just do client dot subscribe, uh, and you give the topic name, so we can say hello slash. Well, there we go. Oh no, it's a So hello world. And then the other thing we have to do is find it just loop forever. And what this does is just stops the script running, stop the script from stopping so that it would be continually running. Otherwise, the script would just run or end. And then when the message is sent, it's what way we're running to receive it. Let's run the script now. So we go here, got my virtual environment set up, run an example. Don't expect it to end because we've got the loop forever, so that's good. Check mosquito is ah, so we should see it connecting here, but we don't. So let me just look at here and see what's going on. Client, client. Ah, okay. We've got this little variable here that just defines whether we're going to be local or not. It's automatically false, so we want this to be true. We want to be on the local host. The other is the IP of the Pi that runs all my lights automations. Um, okay, so let's put this, run it. Okay, now on our mosquito, we should see. Yep, there we go. YouTube subscribed. 
to Hellos as well. And it's connected. Cool. Okay, so that's worked. Alrighty then, so now we need to tell it what to do when we receive a message. So we'll subscribe to the topic. So there's a callback function, which is just on, give it to me, on message. It calls, and then we just need to give it a function. So I'm just going to say on message. Like that. So now we need to define this message, define this function. And this takes a client, the user data, and the message. So these are the three parameters that get passed in from the um, on message callback. And we can just, we can just say hello. And why don't we print the message? Okay, so, so when the message happened, when it receives a message that it's subscribed to, so only the messages that it's subscribed to, um, it will fire the on message uh, function with these parameters, and we're going to get hello, and we're going to see the message, which I think is just going to be an object, so we won't be able to see anything too exciting. So run the script. Okay. Don't see anything as expected. Let's just check within to Mosquito. Yep, we've subscribed to the Hello World. So, oh, let's get the, this up so you can see it. Hello, slash world. Ooh, that's a bad. Jason, ah. Oh. Publish. There we go. Okay, so you can see that we printed hello and we've got the message, which is a message client and message object. Do it again. You can see it's sending a mosquito, appearing in the code. So if we go back to the code, close the script. If we go back to the code. We can see what we can do with this message. Uh, we can get the topic out. The topic is a message topic. And the payload equals message dot payload payload dot decode. So it comes in bytes so we just need to decode it into ETF8. And I'll just print those things. Topic print payload save that. Yep. Right. Let's check this mosquito. YouTube's connected and it's subscribing, so that's all good. Go back to here. So you can see when the message gets sent. Boo bar publish. Hello. So there we go. We have the topic. Hello such well. We have the payload. So if I was to change this to cheese, it's a cheese. Grab it just for fun. Yeah. And if I was to change the topic to hello England, it doesn't appear because we've only subscribed to the hello slash world topic. If we wanted to to subscribe to all topics under hello world we can use the hash which is a wildcard which means anything which is hello slash whatever will now be picked up so if we cancel the script run it now if we send this we go oh man just can't deal with it okay let's print Okay, now we get the topic and we get the payload and anything we put here, we will see the topic. Alrighty, so that's how you subscribe 
to a topic in an MQTT uh, from an MQTT broker uh, using Pahu and Python. Uh, plenty of things to do with this. The main thing I use this for is sensors. So if someone walks past a sensor, it sends a message, you need to subscribe to that topic to then turn the light on or activate, I don't know, a light uh, sound. Uh, I have it on my front door, which sends a message to my phone when someone's near the front door. Um, yes, yeah, so have fun with this and see you next time.